Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix, or at least one way that you can fix corrupted DJI recordings from your drone, particularly the O3 unit. If you've crashed, your battery got ejected, and your, your recording got corrupted, I'm going to show you a way that you can do that and kind of walk through just briefly, quick way of how to do that. So I had this happen to me the other day. I crashed, latency issues got me, I ended up hitting a picnic table, crashed, battery got ejected, and of course the file got corrupted. I got back home, opened up the file, and the file sure enough was corrupted, and I was like, crap, that sucks. It wasn't a great flight or anything, but I wanted to see the footage and stuff, and sure enough it got corrupted, and then I got to thinking, I was like, man, this is gonna suck, because I need a way, if I crash and the battery gets ejected in the future, since I'm using the onboard recording for all my video, that I need a way of fixing that if that happens or when that happens because inevitably it's going to happen so and it did so i went searching to see if i could find uh, a way that i could fix that and i came across this neat little app called dji fix downloaded it gave it a try sure enough it did not work you thought i was going to say it worked and you was going to be all fixed no it didn't it didn't work so i was like ah oh, this sucks so I reached out to the guy that wrote it. It's open source. He had his contact information there. I reached out to him. And the file format that I was using wasn't listed as one of the ones that he supported, but he said, give it a try anyways. And you know, that's what I'd done. It didn't work. And so I told him, he said, well, send me a corrupted file and I'll see, see, if, I can, uh, see if I can fix it. And so I sent him over the corrupted file and he took a look at it and he said, yeah, I think I can fix this. And it was a little bit later. He sent me back a message and he was like, hey, I updated the source code on this thing and here's the file. I went and fixed it for you. And he sent me back the file and I was like, oh, that's great. And then I wanted to figure out, okay, he only updated the source code. He didn't update the, the build. And I was like, okay, try to download the, the source code and try to build it. So that's what I did. Ran into a few issues. Finally figured those out. And I was like, great, I got the build. I'm going to run it. So I ran it. Looked at the file and it still wasn't right. And I was like, well, this sucks. So then I reached out to him again. And while I was waiting on a reply, I was reading through some of the notes and stuff that he said. And he suggested using FFmpeg, run it through FFmpeg with some options. And sure enough, when I did that, the file was great. So I sent him back a reply. I said, I got it. I figured it out. Woohoo. Yay. All good. So now I've got a way that if I get a corrupted file for my DJI 03, I can fix it. Now, if you are not recording in one of the formats that he supports, you can send him a file and he will take a look at it and most likely he can probably get it to work for you. Um, the only problem is that if it's not one that he supports, you're going to have to figure out how to do the build and I can't really help you with that. I can give you the one that I use, the build that I made and the source code for it and you can take that and then, you know, do what you will with it. And you know, maybe you can get it to build or whatever. And like, if he updates it again, updates the source code or whatever again, you can do that. But the format that I record on my 03 is I record in 4.3 and I record the 2.7K 60. And if you're recording in that format, you'll be able to take, take this build that I've got. Um, and if you've got Windows, you take that build and you can run. If not, you know, you're on your own, figure it out how to, to, uh, to do the build of the, the C code. And it's not all that complicated, but if you've not done any program before, it can be a bit daunting. Anyways, so without further ado, let me give you a little quick rundown on what to do on this. It's pretty simple. So when you run this program, you're going to give it the file name of the file that's corrupted that you want to repair. And then what it's going to do, it's going to spit out a bunch of text with a bunch of options on there. And in my particular case, since I'm recording 4.3 and 60 frames a second, um, I'm going to use option 6. So you hit option 6. It does its thing. It's going to give you some more text. It's going to tell you, hey, I output this file. You know, I converted it. I output this file. It's probably not going to be viewable in a normal, you know, video player. And you should do X, Y, and Z with that. I'm going to tell you, you don't do anything that it says to do because it won't work with um, VLC or whatever that other program is. It doesn't work with those. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take that resulting file and you're going to want to run that through FFmpeg. And here's the option that you want to do. You want to give it these options here. And what this is basically going to do, it's going to take this file and it's going to dump out the file into an MP4 format. And then you take that resulting file and there you go. You've got a good working file that is correct. 
So I hope this helps you. It's short, sweet, to the point. Hopefully this helps a lot of people. And if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to answer those as best that I can. And I'll provide links to everything down in the description there. You can download the build that I made. You can download the source code that I, I took his source code and put it into a Visual Studio project. So you can download the Visual Studio project if you've got uh, Windows and you can use that project. And you can take his existing source code. He's made some updates even since um, doing mine. So you can grab his latest source code. You can put that in there. You can do the build and you'll be all good to go with everything. And if he fixes some stuff for you, you can take the source code again, drop it in there run the build, rebuild it, and you'll be, be good to go. You just need Visual Studio. Um, if you've got a Mac or something like that, then you're kind of on your own. I really can't help you with that there. But um, I'm sure if you reach out to him, he might be able to help you. I don't know. Anyways, he was pretty pretty helpful with me with fixing the problem. You know, he had it fixed in probably just a couple hours. So hopefully this helps you. And remember, guys, never stop flying. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.